Hello again, welcome to another edition of the Real Ale Guide. Today's beer is a beer from the Buxton Brewery and it's their Buxton Kinder Downfall. It's a golden ale, bottle condition coming in a 4.3% ABV. There you go. I like every uh, every beer so far I've tried from the Buxton Brewery, I've been, it's been absolutely wonderful. Just get into a glass. That'll do for now because it's bottle conditioned. Don't want to pour too much in. I might show you the sediment later on in the review. But what are we getting? Okay, so it's a golden beer, this one. Natural carbonation rising from the bottom of the glass. It's got a, got a kind of an orange tint to the beer. It's a three finger head. It's white, it's foamy. Nice consistency to the head there. Let's get the nose then. See what it smells like. And it smells like all gold nails should smell like. It's just, it's a lovely sweet malt. Which in the nose is a subtle hop. It may not be in the taste. But in the nose it's a nice subtle hop. Nice kind of little just fruity notes going on. So let's get the taste then. And that is a fabulous beer. That really is a fabulous beer. You're getting the sweet malt to begin with. There's a nice level of bitterness. This is a golden ale. The style is not intended to be a big, bitter, bitter beer. This is, I'm, I'm saying this is more, it's hop forward, don't get me wrong. But it's, it's, it's more malty, so it's more malty, a good session beer. Now I, I go through stages where I really like a hoppy beer, I really like a malty beer. There's nothing like a traditional malty beer. And this is, it is hoppy like I say, but there is a nice element of the, of the malt in here. But then on the second taste, it's different again. I really made an effort then to wash the beer around in every single part of my mouth. I really got the beer around as much as I could. And then I picked up more of the bitterness. And I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna take a guess on the hop here, because it's grapefruity, it's citrusy, it's like a, it's definitely like pine needles, this one with a good malt beginning, followed by all the hops I just mentioned. I'm going to take a guess on the hop use here, and I'm going to say Centennial. I'm going to take a guess on Centennial with a hop. But it's ideally suited, it's 4.3%, it's ideally suited the session in. The mouthfeel is like a classic, classic ale. It's not too thick, it's not too thin. The beer's kept its head all the way down as I'm drinking it. This is another extremely solid beer from the Buxton Brewery. Extremely solid beer. And in session in terms, if you ask me, out of all the Buxton beers I've reviewed so far out of the Axe Edge, the Black Rocks, the Imperial Black, Tsar, uh, I've done a few a few more of their beers. The, the More Top, oh mind you, this, this, this and the More Top. If you ask me which one I'd like to session, it would be most definitely 
either this or the more top I would easily pack I'd be able to sit and pack four of these in push in five on a nice hot day like today with a good meal it's just absolutely perfect you couldn't wish for a better beer right it's bottle conditioned it's the second fermentation process with the beer so I'm going to pour this beer and show you what a bottle conditioned beer looks like now straight away look straight away look at the sediment it's still poured the beer is still <laughs> look at that The sediment is in the bottom of the glass now. I don't know if you can see that. Really like to get this glass over to show you. Let's, I don't know if you can see that there in the bottom. Plenty of sediment. It kind of looks like it's been mixed in with a bit of milkshake. It's kind of very, very creamy looking. It's a massive head. Now, why? If you're watching this from the first time, if you obviously if you know about real ale, you don't need to be for me to, to be talking to you about this, but if you're new, if you've caught this review by complete accident, you want to know what a bottle conditioned beer is, it's the second fermentation process, it causes the beer, gives it a bit of sparkle, you can, I wouldn't want to age this beer, it's meant to be for aging, but I wouldn't want to age it, because you're going to lose all the hop flavours, so drink that while it's fresh. But the beer gives it a bit, it gives it a bit of, sorry, the damn seagulls, <laughs> seagulls took my concentration away. Yeah, stop laughing at me. <laughs> so yeah, it gives it, it gives the beer a bit of sparkle. Rating. Let's see what it tastes like with the conditioning. It just gets a, just a little bit, it, it, it becomes a little bit, I call it chalky, it becomes a little bit chalky on the tongue. But, if I was drinking this beer off camera, I would pour all that in anyway. I, I actually like the sediments in the beer, I, I actually like the, the grittiness, it just, for me, it's just what I want. But, for reviewing purposes, I haven't put it in, but for a rating... This again gets a solid 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 beer. It's fantastic for sessioning, probably fantastic for food. I'm just burping back just wonderful citrus, grapefruity notes. It's pretty good beer. Nice mild backbone. 8 out of 10. Check out Buxton Brewery. Their website is www.buxtonbrewery.co.uk. Order some of this, it's absolutely fantastic. Thanks for watching me, The Real Ale Guide. Put your comments in the comments box and cheers.